Hello beautiful people, I'm Pitt, your VR boxing coach. Thanks for your support. We are reaching like 10k subscribers, which is crazy to me because I just began my uh, journey in this field of VR boxing. To thank you, I uh, just recorded uh, this video, which is a review of um, VR boxing uh, YouTubers. So uh, I hope you you like it, and uh, we are beginning with uh, this guy, which is Kuroku. And let's take a look at his uh, at his technique. He's a little bit shorted, short uh, handed. Uh, he doesn't move too much his shoulder. So his punches are are fast, but not that uh, the amplitude is not good. But uh, the technique is not that bad. Uh, he's keeping his guard up, and uh, he's afraid of knocking his uh, headset with the controllers, which is understandable. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a weird guard, right? <laughs> yeah, so you have to move your shoulder um, more and uh, to tight tighten your uh, your guard. Uh, and uh, the amplitude of the shots are a bit too uh, limited, but that not that's not bad. So the the next one is uh, weird with a dot. So let's let's see what he's doing. Oh, I see good techniques. That's not bad, actually. He's moving a lot. Um, he's moving his head and uh, his fists. Look at that. The counter was good. He's uh, exag exag exaggerating too much uh, his moves sometimes, but for the tracking, it's better. Uh, But I can see he has uh, experience. And sometimes it's better to hold your controller upside down so you can calibrate it in the game. Nice one. Nice. Uppercut. He leans and boom with a hook. Yeah, he's, he's, he, he gets tired a little bit uh, in the end. But in the start, uh, it was very good technique. Nice. And he's, he's, uh, he looks young and uh, he's fast. That's pretty good. So the next one is VR Play. So I'll take the music down because I don't want the copyrights to infringe on my video. So he's leaning a, a bit forward, which is sometimes it's not that good. Um, you want to um, get your footwork right instead of uh, leaning uh, forward which is which can be risky but he's extending his arms and uh, 
That's not bad actually. He's not he's not bad at boxing. He's just like inexperienced. Okay, cool. And the uh, next one, I have a lot of uh, <laughs> videos to cover, so I go fast, guys. So Aiden Bao, let's take a look. He looks like a drunken master a little bit. <laughs> um, the, the the thing the thing I can see right right now is he doesn't bend he, his knee enough, and he's um, counting on his spine, which in the long term can be very painful. So when you are young, you, you don't care about your spine, but I can tell you, my spine is not precious. I have uh, chronic pain, so don't do that. And this uppercut is... Um, it's not a good technique because he's doing that with too much with uh, the the arm um, and uh, yeah that's not the power uh, you want but this is the nunchaku effect and this is like a I think like a cheat uh, in this game because the game is tracking your velocity and not the the real power behind your punches. So sometimes with a little like um, fist movement at the end, you can gain a little more uh, speed. And this is the same thing with the arm. Prefer a good technique and rotate your um, your shoulder. And he has a good uh, speed and uh, yeah, he's punching uh, for his size. I think he's uh, punching, uh, his right hand is, uh, is, is powerful. But this uppercut man is, isn't good. The next one is uh, six finger fists. Nice uh, mixed reality um, video. Oh, it's getting blurred. And he has a karate stance. Uh, this is not a boxing stance, this is a karate stance. I can see he's not experienced. He's doing that, um, which is bad for boxing. Yeah, he's pushing the punch, uh, which is not good. But I can see he's not experienced at all. And he, he's playing with a sweatshirt. Oh, nice uh, uppercut. The sweatshirt is getting in the way. And exactly the same as uh, as before. Uh, this is the the arm uppercut. Uh, so you want to punch with your uh, always with your your shoulder. So uppercut like this. So the next one is uh, Prixim CTT. And this guy is a Thai boxer. I think he's maybe a pro. And uh, he's French. Uh, he, he's explaining uh, what he feels like to uh, to play a thrill of a fight. Okay. 
ça nous permet de travailler, enfin de boxer sous différents angles. Je pense que ça peut vraiment être un, quelque chose qui s'approche vraiment de la réalité. He's explaining uh, what uh, what are the feeling when you you first uh, play through the fight, and um, I th I see he has good technique, but he's a Thai boxer. So in Thai boxing, when you you do Thai boxing, uh, you know that um, combination aren't the the best uh, powerful shots to do. We like to observe and uh, punches one after one uh, so combinations are not that great in Thai boxing uh, it's more uh, uh, character stuff or um, kickboxing stuff but Thai boxing is is really powerful shots after powerful shots and not combination too much <laughs> He's saying that it's, it's better than uh, shadow boxing, obviously. It's a more realistic than shadow boxing because we have uh, an opposition uh, in front of us. You have to uh, dodge the attack of the opponent. He has a good speed in his hands. He's on, on easy mode, that's why. <laughs> His hands technique aren't the best, but I'm sure uh, his uh, kick techniques are uh, powerful. And uh, he looks like a lightweight, uh, so... So nice clean techniques. Uh, that's uh, that was great. Next one is the eight bit driver guy. So I I play I I don't play the music because I I will I won't uh, be able to monetize this video. And uh, he's fast. He doesn't look that young, and uh, he looks fast. But his techniques, uh, his technique is not that good. This is not good, but you know. This is just for pleasure. Oh, nice one. Oh, that's that's not bad. He has some techniques. But too much um, amplitude sometimes, and uh, he's leaning forward. But he, he doesn't have much pace, so yeah, it can be difficult. But that's not bad at all. So next one is Joe Gill. He's guarding at the like Mayweather, so jabbing and guarding with this uh, hand, which I do a lot. <coughs> but the amplitude is not there. Uh, but he is dynamic and uh, he's using uh, his legs. But the amplitude is uh, a little like karate, you know. Nice combination.
The, the right hand here is, uh, isn't uh, doing anything. He's, uh, he's not guarding. So maybe put your guard a little bit up and not that uh, far from your head. He has a Mortal, Co Mortal Kombat guard. <laughs> and he is a bit lazy with uh, his punch. The next one is Galvin Bay. <laughs> he has a Karate stance. And uh, his punches are not aligned with the, the elbow. He's doing that and you can hurt yourself if you do that. If you do that, you can hurt your elbow very fast. So don't do that. Don't do this. And he's not managing his breath too well. Uh, when you punch, it's better to breathe out. <laughs> or shh, shh. Because you will be out of breath very fast. And if he's very stressed, you have to be more composed and uh, you just have to move your head a little bit and not go everywhere. Um, <coughs> That is not a punch, but yeah, he's uh, having fun. He looks a bit stressed. <laughs> so the next one is Fabian Danner. Let's do this shit. I'm only going to tell you two things. Protect yourself at all times, and a thing that I say at all times. Let's make this a clean fight. Good combination, good combination, and uh, yeah, he's observing, um, he's doing great, he's doing great. Um, his guard is a little bit low, but... <laughs> yeah, his guard is a little bit too far from his head, so when you... Um, when you want to defend, uh, you have a little time lapse when you are uh, retiring your uh, your hand, and uh, this can be uh, yeah, this can this can be risky. And he's leaning he's leaning forward too much. Uh, this is a bad habit. You can lean to the side. You can lean to the side, but you have to use your uh, your knee too, um, not just the spine. Okay, next one is uh, Nui Whatever Fan. <laughs> the footwork is a little bit too uh, floaty for me. Uh, yeah, footwork isn't isn't that great. Uh, look at the the back foot here when he's punching, and uh, he's jumping too much. He's floating with uh, the foot, you know. Yeah. So when you move around. It has to be like this, tak 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 tak, not like. You have to say to yourself at every time I can defend and attack, and if you are floating with your feet, you can't do that. That's impossible. And don't double your punch this way just with the the elbow uh, because this is not effective and uh, the if, if it was real fights 
you can get knockout very quickly. So prefer clean shots and go back and defend yourself. So clearly it's a beginner, uh, this is not bad, but he has to, to learn the, the basics and uh, especially the, the footwork. I'm only gonna, gonna tell you two so the next one is besttech.it. So is a, is a bit static. And he's not really punching, he's playing like it, if it was a game, uh, yeah. So he's not taking that too seriously, but uh, he has some good reflexes and great combinations. And he's guarding, uh, which is good. Yeah, this is not bad. Uh, he hits with clean techniques, but it's not powerful uh, enough. Then the next one is 18-0. He's uh, speaking a lot, so I will uh, reduce the, the noise here. He has good techniques and good movements. Um, I think he's, uh, he's experienced a little bit. Uh, he's not bad at all. Great combination, jab, jab, cross. He's moving around, he's moving his head with the, the little space he has. Oh, I love it with the crowds, you know. Come on, motherfucker. Come on, man. <laughs> what you got for me? You ain't got shit. <laughs> boom, boom. Okay, he's got something. He's funny. <laughs> Back off from now. Yeah, he's not guarding uh, after uh, the punches. Boom, so boom, he boom, has boom, to be boom. careful. Oh, my face like that. But his movements are fluid, uh, which is rare. Uh, he is composed and uh, he's having fun. Nice one. One, two, lean in the diagonal and uh, he observe. Yeah. That's pretty good. He's good. That's fluid. That's a solid box, guys. Uh, so the next one is Ayovon Gaming. He has a little weird guard, uh, but he's very dynamic. But he doesn't have uh, any experience in the in boxing, so it shows. I love the spirits of this guy. <laughs> He's funny. Oh, shit. Yeah, he looks dynamic. He, he wants to play. Um, he's enjoying his party. Um, but yeah, he doesn't have any technique. So uh, the next one is Tampa. Ooh. Yeah, he doesn't have any amplitude, and uh, he's just moving his uh, elbow. He's not using the shoulder rotation. But he has good reflexes. 
I can see the head movement. <laughs> He's waiting for the, the counter attack. All right. And the next one is Sergey Kutcher. That's not bad. He's doing a lot of uh, the same movements. And uh, for real fights, it's not that effective. But uh, yeah, he's in shape. Uh, Yeah, he's doing all this, always the same thing, thing. So, don't do that, guys. Uh, even if the AI is uh, is doing the same, uh, try to be more diverse uh, if you want to to learn properly the technique and uh, to be more um, rich in your box. So the next one is um, on the bright side VR. Nice. He's playing with the haptic suit. I love this this shit. And the video is a uh, very well made with a uh, mixed reality. I will do that uh, one day. I, I'll do like this type of uh, capture because I like it. Oh, nice one. This was great. Look at that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's not bad, but it's a little bit phony. I like this video. Uh, this was great. So next one is Paisy Brown, and uh, the music is uh, is known. So I uh, I will decrease the the volume. But for uh, his shape, uh, he's pretty quick. He's fast. It's not it's not bad actually. He has good reflexes and uh, obviously he doesn't have much space, but that's pretty good. Good job. One, two. Yeah, double jab. This is a good workout. So the next one is Devin Robert Triantus. Okay, this is not this is not a good boxing. So the, the footwork is not bad, but the punchers are weak. Maybe he's afraid to 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 go a little more powerful and he's leaning a little bit and he looks in shape, uh, which is um, weird. But this, and he repeats, uh, so yeah, it's, it, it looks like he's just beginning. This is the first time he punches something, and uh, obviously uh, this is not a good boxing style. He has a lot 
to learn, of course. So the next one is thief. 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 Ah, not bad. He's fast. But the techniques <laughs> the techniques is not that good, right? But good combination. One, two, three. But he's not guarding, so yeah, it's risky. When you begin uh, boxing, um, you tend to to not defend after a punch. Oh, nice move right there. He's uh, using his legs, which is good. And he's rotating his uh, shoulder. But the punches are... Look at the trajectory of the punches. This is not a good trajectory. This is not powerful. And uh, yeah. But that, that's not bad. That's not the worst I saw uh, today. So the next one is v Woody plays. Woody. Oh, nice one. One, two, three. Double jab. Oh, hey, this is not bad at all. He looks like he has some experience, of course. But this, um, yeah, if you want to double jab, go back to your shoulder. One, two, one, two, not one, two, like this way. Um, because you're, you're, like, if you do that in Creed, in multiplayer, uh, it's just like spamming and, and, and people don't like that. But the techniques is not bad. It's just that the the jab is a little weak. Uh, the double jab, especially. But this is the first. This is like the first. And the footwork is good. Uh, yeah, he he's experienced. Uh, that shows. He's a he's an amateur. Series where I really played it. Um, the quest or the quest two where you have freedom movement, uh, much better visual. And for those of you who don't know, for the old. With that being said, and he's fast. He looks in shape. Uh, so out of fighting shape, but in terms of in term of pure cardio, pure. That's pretty good, man. Pretty good. So the next one is Bobby Ziolkowski. <laughs> he's excited. He's excited. The guy. I actually didn't watch the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I did see. Match ending in the oh, come here, come here. Your winner by technical knockout. We haven't heard this for a while, Lindsay. Life is about. Interact. Oh! Already? It's done? It's in easy mode. Oh! Whoa. Nice! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. He, he's a short handed, right? He's. He's just uh, playing with like hard movement. It's not fluid, but uh, yeah, it can be powerful in um, short distance fights. But yeah, he likes technique, of course. Oh wait, I don't know. It's really not. It's a televised street fight, and like it's great. It's cool because there's an insane amount of skill. I mean, probably more so than boxing because boxing is only part of what a lot of they do. Yeah, he's not extending his arm a, lo a lot, so yeah, the range is uh, quite limited. Next one is Alexander Afanasev. Afanasev. doesn't look like he's experienced but it's not 
that bad. Yeah, he he looks a little bit stressed, so his amplitude is uh, maybe too too much, and he's a little low energy. It's not very fast. And he's not breathing, he's holding his breath, uh, which is bad for your cardio. Ah, good combination. So, Cyan Princess. A girl for, for once. Nice one. <laughs> She's taking that seriously, guys. <laughs> Look at that. The right hand. Nice. I'm quite shocked why, uh, but why I see here. <laughs> She likes technique, but this is, uh, I'm enjoying this. There you go, you don't want it. I'll let you sneak one in. Why are you bleeding? So when you, you punch uh, with the cross, um, or whatever punch you do, uh, you have to try to al align your elbow with your punch. Uh, because if you do that, you will get hurt. Uh, but here, obviously, it's VR5, so nobody cares. She's tight, she's tight. And she has a good reflexes. Uh, her footwork is not that great, but uh, yeah, she, she's enjoying the moment and uh, I like it a lot. Next one is Bare Necessities. I'm only going to tell you two things. Protect yourself. What? <laughs> This is easy mode. Ah, he's he has uh, good punches, um, good power, but uh, yeah, the technique is not perfect, of course. But he looks like a strong man. He's bouncing a little bit. Uh, this is not a good sign, but. This is not a jab, but he has a good rotation and uh, he looks explosive. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, he's like... <coughs> Yeah, so this is not very fluid, but yeah, it's it's not bad. Uh, he has power. Next one is Commander Vlogs. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This is great. <laughs> he has good energy, I can tell, but <laughs> yeah. He's uh, everywhere. Um, he's like a wild dog. Yeah. 
He's wasting energy uh, in these punches. Uh, he's floating around and uh, yeah, this is not very effective. But that's not bad for his shape. So the next one is Flash Bros TV. Let's do this. Oh! He's serious, this guy. Nice. Good energy. I like this. He has good techniques. Uh, he's moving around uh, because he has space too, but his footwork is, uh, is pretty good. And uh, he's fast. Um, I don't like the, the cross because he's doing that with the cross a little bit. Like a slap sometimes. Like. But he's moving, uh, his moves are great. Uh, I like it. And uh, the next one is Egor Zigarev. God, he has good energy, <laughs> but he doesn't have too much techniques. Uh, that's not bad, um, but he's doing the same thing. And uh, I think the, the wire is going in the way. So that's why I, I play with Oculus Quest 2. Uh, I like it. Wireless is king. So, next one is Lexicon 1. Like kind of the, uh, the, of the realism of, of the experience of, of, of sparring and, and the battle as much as you can, I guess, in a, in a video game. And, you know, he's bouncing a little bit too much. Uh, he's like a, a, the puppy style, you know, you are everywhere, you are enjoying your, your, your game. But, uh, yeah, this is... Um, you're wasting your energy when you do that uh, and you don't feel that uh, in the beginning but uh, at the end of the round you will be toasted oh i don't even call this a video game uh, this is kind of like a simulation and it, and it really just you know you start sweating you really start sweating now i tried my hardest to knock this guy out now, you know you can tell his face is a little bit of a of a raw potato there yeah it's not bad and uh, the next one is Will. Oh, oh, nice. He has good technique. Good footwork. He's not using his uh, shoulder. Oh, no, he, no, actually it's pretty good. Uh, he has a good technique. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid technique, man. Next one is Data Stuff Plus. Footwork is... Uh, is not that good. He's crossing. He's crossing his legs. Don't do that, guys. But uh, he's he he's quick. But the footwork has to change. Oh, look at that! He's crossing his legs. No, don't do that, man. 
It's he's not stable. When you're not stable, you can't punch well. It's impossible. But um, yeah, his uh, hand hand techniques are not that bad. But look at this feet floating around. Look, look. Oh, <laughs> he's jumping. Oh shit, he crossed, he crossed the leg. This is not good. One after one after one after one, never cross. But the upper body is uh, dynamic. Uh, he can get pretty good pretty quickly if he, he do something with uh, the footwork here. So the next one is gap kicks. He seems to have a hurt uh, left shoulder. But I saw this guy already and he has good technique uh, for his size. Uh, he's uh, it's pretty good, he has a good eye. Nice one! He, he's composed, uh, he looks like he's experienced, uh, he's, he's pretty composed. Nice! Did you see that? He's not ex exaggerating his movements when he dodge. He's just sleeping and go, and uh, he anticipates a lot, so, which is pretty good in boxing. Boom! <laughs> and uh, he looks heavy too. Uh, I think he's uh, heavier than me. Tall and heavy. You can see that uh, with the size of uh, the ch chest and the head compared to the, the headset. I think the guy is, is pretty big. Nice one. He's reacting. Bam bam. Boom. <laughs> pretty good box. It's a solid box. This guy is good. Another footage of this guy. Nice! Did you see that? This is clean techniques, guys. One, two to the body, and here it's it's open. So one, two, boom! And he's very stable, very composed. He doesn't move around too much. He's just he's observing. Here and go. Here go. So this is a pretty good technique, you can see. And uh, for big guys like this, this is pretty uh, hard for the cardio to, to move around. So, But in a real fight with a guy like this, uh, he can knock you out just by extending his elbow. I can tell you guys, uh, when you are lightweight uh, in front of this guy, you have to run, I tell you. Doesn't look like much, but uh, he's pretty good. Nice job, man. So the next one is what's next? VR. They are the presence that they have. Uh, in the next capture I do, uh, coming up after this one, um, you see the first person in the bottom right corner. So that'll, that'll help you give an idea of what you're actually, what I'm actually looking at. He has some techniques. Um, the one-two is great, the jab is great, uh, the cross is great, um, the uppercut is not that great. This fight before... But he, he can dodge, uh, he can slip. I started feeling more aggressive. While I was fighting, it didn't feel like I was doing very well. Because the whole thing felt like not a good time. Good combinations. But look at that, I'm slipping, I'm, I'm trying to find stuff. Pretty easy, cross and the uh, uppercut or um, left hook. In there, I'm calm, 
that's something that I had this breakthrough the night before, where I was just like, treat this like a sparring session. Relax, dude. Tense up when you got a punch, you know, throw it through, but then bring a snapper back and relax. He's right. And that's what I started doing in this fight. I gotta work on my green screen stuff, and there's a lot for me to work on. You know, like, okay, he got me there. He's serious about it, and uh, that, that's good. So the next one is VRD. Your dad. <laughs> okay, where is the fight? Ah. Yeah, he doesn't look experienced at all. Maybe he's the. F it's the first time he played a boxing game. And he's wearing a suit with uh, weights, I think. Maybe that's why he's not moving around very quickly. We're in the corner. Second seat, we're not wearing a punch. Because, uh... Yeah, he's like, you know, you just look at the trajectory and uh, you see how a boxer is experienced. The next one is shadow boxing on odd class. Okay. Look at the the rear foot here. It's floating a little bit and uh, he's exposed a lot. He's exposed a lot. But he seems to have a good punching power and a good, good pinch. And he's using the, the trick, like uh, the velocity trick, nonshaku arm. But he looks very strong in the upper body. But he's floating a bit. Look, look, this this is a sign. Look at the the foot here. Floating. Look, look. Here. Look. Zip. It's sleeping. You you don't have to sleep to be powerful. He's sleeping because he is not anchored to the ground. However, I saw a recent video of this guy and he, he lost um, much weight, so bravo. So yeah, it's a, he's a bit stiff, and uh, it's uh, pretty common in uh, when you begin boxing. The next one is TTV sentient machines. Oh, he's punching hard. <laughs> it's not that fluid, he's a little bit stiff, but uh, yeah, he's uh, pretty di dynamic. He's explosive. And look at the, the grip. Damn. He's punching very, for his size. Damn, he is uh, pretty explosive. Nice. 
exceptional uh, strength uh, on the upper body. Uh, the swing is is pretty good, but yeah, he's he's uh, he lacks a bit of techniques. He's not that fluid, but uh, he has good uh, explosivity. And look at the rear foot here. Here. It's not good. It's not good. He's not. He's um. He's wasting power. He's powerful, but he's wasting power by doing so. Look! Look! This. He's he's wasting power right there. Because he can transfer the power of the hips to the 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 elbow and to the the punch. But that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So the next one is Mikkel VR. Let me try to show you guys what I mean by my right hand losing tracking. Yeah, it happens a lot, this uh, VR tracking uh, stuff. That's what I mean. But the guy seems to have a good, uh, powerful jab. It's pretty fluid. It comes from the, the hips and uh, especially from the shoulder. He's extending, which is great. And uh, when he comes back from the, the, the jab, it's pretty quick, like a nunchaku. So this is a pretty good jab, solid jab. And uh, with the, the foot, you know, here, like, the footwork is good. He's like, tak tak, tak tak. Good head movement, and uh, he's composed. He's patient. And uh, when you see uh, an opportunity. Uh, okay. Slipped the wrong way. Nice job, pretty solid job. Nice short hook too, and a nice short uh, uppercut too. Oh, he's pretty experienced. It shows. For the next one, real boxer move. Yeah, he's working with real gloves, which is a good idea. I think he has a bit of experience. Um, Nice footwork and a nice dodge. He's waiting a little bit too much when he leans. He's waiting a little bit too much. Uh, he's exposed when he punches. But that's not bad. Um, yeah, he has to, to work on his uh, maybe um, the alignment of uh, the elbow and uh, the punch. But overall, that's not bad at all. All right. So another one is uh, just rain. So it's an old video, I think he has uh, improved uh, a lot since then, but uh, we'll so see. This, uh, he asked me a little while ago to uh, review one of his uh, video, I think. Whenever it stops a uh, place for the off, yeah. So he looks like he's a lightweight, uh, but he's uh, he looks pretty strong. He's a muscular. 
And uh, he's fast. At least a real life recording is one full video. So you won't see me cheating where I'm kind of resting between matches. Oh, <laughs> Superman punch. I tried to do a Superman, uh, Superman punch. Pum, pum, pum. He's fast. He's fast. He is rotating uh, his shoulders. Uh, man punches in this bar. It was pretty fun. So I wanted to do that, uh, try to do that again. In the fight. Oh, jeez. I'm wasting so much energy. Yeah. Just on the second opponent. Damn. That was a great hook. So energy. One, two, three. Just, boom. Just on boom. The second opponent. Boom. 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 This is powerful, and uh, he's engaging his uh, whole body, which is very powerful. He has a Thai boxing uh, stance. Look at that. This is a Thai boxing stance. Because you, you want to check low kicks, <laughs> so yeah, that's why. Got two more opponents after that, and then I The jab is a little bit uh, lazy, I'm like, but uh, the cross is powerful. Because, well, you know, there's no video for it, so you're just going to see black screen. And I just had to restart, which sucked. And when you double jab, you want to, like, go with the nunchaku technique, but not this, but this bam bam and i'm already tired from that so good job man keep go keep boxing the next one is jungle games oh i'm black and white i'm seeing black and white all right you hit me good in the good in the gut right there all right what's up <laughs> He's having fun. <laughs> yeah, he lacks a bit of technique, but uh, he's enjoying, so I like it. He's in the game. It's a metaverse. <laughs> his footwork looks pretty good. And he's moving a lot. But he's leaning a bit forward, which is, um, uh, which is risky. And not good for your spine. So, the next one is trivial being. Nice combinations. He looks composed. Uh, he has the good technique. He's uh, he's seeing it coming, uh, which is great. Nice. Boom. Be reasonably defensive. Has he's countering a lot. Uh, this is his style. He's waiting for the opening. Too much space away. And he's guarding uh, a lot, which is great. He's doing a good job with the defense. This is good. He's taking his time. He's not in a rush and. Uh, he observe. Uh, this is a good uh, composed uh, fight. Great training. Also, his punching technique are pretty good, uh, I must say. The uppercut is not that great, but uh, overall, uh, it's uh, it's it's good. So I've tested out. Whether I can make it 12 rounds or not, a couple times before starting the recording, I definitely find. I think he is the kind of guy that analyzes a lot, so he will improve a lot uh, in the next few months. I think. 
So the next one is Joseph 3000 Games. He, he's like just rain, he's like a powerful um, little guy, but uh, he looks in shape and he's pretty explosive. But his techniques is not that good, but it's not bad either. He has good, good um, uh, reflexes. And uh, his right hand is uh, powerful, it's powerful. Damn! <laughs> yeah, his punches are, are pretty good, actually. Uh, but the, the, the technique, not so much, but the power is... Uh, he's swinging a lot, so... Yeah, he's in shape. Look at that. Man. That's pretty good, man. This is a good workout, guys. This is a perfect workout. And some, sometimes you have to like kick yourself in the butt because um, you, when you know the knockout is coming, you have to, to rush uh, to the guy and uh, knock him out. But this guy is uh, maybe in uh, his 20s, so yeah, so... A guy like me in his 40s, I can't do what he's doing. And he's breathing out too. So it's not that hard on the cardio when you... <laughs> when you do that, because if you hold your breath, uh, you're dead in just one minute. This is pretty good, Joseph. Good work. So the next one is Gross Gore, Ali Larson. He has short punches. Uh, yeah, he's beginning. This guy is just beginning, but... <laughs> but he looks... Uh, yeah, a bit muscular. <laughs> no, this is not... This is spamming. Don't do that. Spamming punches is the worst thing you can do in VR boxing. So don't do that, guys. So the next one is Bobman. Look, five rounds of three minutes. Let's go. Let's go. The guy looks in shape and he's young. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta put your hands. Hey! What's up with you? Yes, sir. Oh, look, you gotta keep your knees. Your knees, man. Oh. Okay, okay, y'all. We gotta box smart. Box smart. Yeah, I think he doesn't have much techniques, but uh, it's uh, enjoyable to, to see. Yeah, he's wasting a lot of energy um, in moving around and uh, exa exaggerating his moves. And he's leaning forward uh, too much, which which is a very very common uh, beginner's mistake. Oh, he bleed! Oh, snap! Come here! 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 All right, this is a very rough uh, boxing guy, but he's enjoying it, so this is very great to see. The next one is Shadow Flow. This is a very stiff boxing, guys. Um, 
The Technics looks average. He, he moves great, he moves great. He has a bit of power. Nice counter strike. But this is a karate block. If you do that in, uh, for example, Thai boxing, uh, you get your, uh, your forearm broke. Oh, nice one. Yeah, he has a, he has some technique. Oh, this one was good. Look at that. Great technique. Great technique. He's a bit stiff, but great technique. This is too much. Um, here is too much knee bending and not that much uh, spine uh, flexing. So you have to balance the two. Okay, good. So the next one is Tekmanju. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not bad. He has a good footwork. His punches are a little bit lazy sometimes, but it's not bad. Overall, good techniques. The punches don't look that powerful to me, um, but he's in shape, so maybe uh, at the maybe first minutes he will be more explosive. Right now, we say no, 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 no. No, for his size, he doesn't look uh, very powerful, uh, but he has good technique. Next one is Boxing Fanatico. <laughs> so create a big time scale so I can move around a little bit more. But either way, got caught clean right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Tommen is completely off right off the bat, but... He's explosive uh, with his legs. Uh, yeah, so either way, you could make a large room scale. Just... But this is not a powerful shot, right? It's pretty he much like spamming. Play like on the Oculus. But he has good head movement. Plus, without you know connecting. But the punches don't look so great. Through the link, it's as big as you can make it, really. Or uh, I think there's a size limit, but it, it's really huge, and you can move around. He is tagging you. Like, oh, nice, nice move. Like crazy. But anyways, uh, one thing that I wanted to focus on is like what I always do, and this is what I do. Yeah, he he can dodge. This guy can dodge. When I was uh, box back when I was like. But the punches aren't that uh, sharp. 18. Um, I basically try to create moments of offense like that, but I, I focus so much on uh, a lot of defense. But he looks uh, in shape and then powerful. Um, he lacks a bit of technique in the, his shoulder and the, he, his uh, hips. Uh, but he can be a great boxer uh, if he, if he practices uh, in real life. The next one is VR Grand Pops. <laughs> I don't know how old this guy is, but he looks like maybe in the late 40. Maybe more, I don't know. He looks in shape for his age. Look at this. He's beefed, man. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty hard to tell uh, how old he is, but he looks like in freaking shape.
But he doesn't like uh, he doesn't have any technique, I can tell you. And he looks stiff and maybe he wants to stretch a little bit because he, he lacks of uh, amplitude in, in, the, in his joints. Yeah, it's a bit rough, uh, it's a bit raw, raw boxing. But uh, yeah, this is a good workout and the, the guy looks sharp. The next one is the arena. He has good techniques, uh, it shows, uh, yeah. Oh, those are MMA coach, that's, that's why. Good, good dodge and head movement. Great technique, great combination. Pretty composed, you, you, you saw that? That was a great move, look at that. The, the footwork. One, one, two, three. Here. Look, look. Hop. Yeah, we didn't see that, but he, he just uh, moved to the left like um, a pivot. Nice combination and it's very fluid and uh, he doesn't uh, get too ha hard. He's very composed. This guy is a little less um, uh, good technically, but uh, he has a good eye for boxing. He's a counter uh, artist, I think. That's great. He has very good technique. This guy is good. Like Mohamed Ali. Boom, 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 boom. Good job, guys. Pretty cool. The next one is Lermer. I think he has a bit of experience with boxing. Yeah, jab and guard. Oh, we didn't see... Uh... Oh, the footage is uh, pretty short. But he has some techniques, he looks a, a bit experienced. So the next one is Canelo. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, find this video. It, uh, it's uh, like one month old. And Canelo is, uh, look at that. He's so composed and fluid, uh, this guy is exceptional. Yeah, the tracking is not that good. <laughs> but he's not going too uh, fast because, yeah, he maybe it's uh, the first time in VR for him. Nice. But it is not three of the fight. Uh, this this. Those kind of games are games, not simulations, so um, I don't like it too much. <laughs> oh, nice one! Do you see that? 
Here. Look at the level, like Mike Tyson. Boom, 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 to the body, to the head. This is not the best video out there, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So the next one is VR Fitness. I don't know if we have uh, already seen this guy, but... This is the um, set here on my lock in Bob and Trevor. Let's go. Okay, so you hurt me already. But generally, his punches are pretty slow. You can see already the jab is, um, is like too short. He's not extending at all. Not bad. With the footwork here, it, it's, it's not bad, but you have to extend a little bit and rotate your shoulder. I think he, he has too much weight on the, um, the front foot. But he's a bit of, uh, he has a, a bit of experience, I can tell. He's not bad, he is uh, just average. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Phew, I just did a workout, look at my sweat. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> anyway, so next one is uh, Sensei Seth, which is a, a quite known uh, YouTuber actually. Uh, so here we go. He's got nice moves. He has, uh, of course, a, a karate stance. And uh, yeah, he's uh, whipping his uh, punches, so. Ooh, there's a cold spot. It's, like more it's more like karate or kung fu. Yeah, this is not bad. Oh, nice one. No, 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 not not that. Don't do that. And this is a karate stance, so he has like arm in the air. It's not the, a karate stance, maybe a kung fu stance. I don't know. It's 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 weird. He doesn't develop m much power uh, in the upper uh, body, but I'm sure he can kick. <laughs> oh, nice move! He's going. Yeah, he's he's turning around. He's, he's pretty good in pivot. Nice one. Nice. <laughs> nice one. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So the next one is uh, Buzzfeed Multiplayer. Oh, this is a a channel with oh, wow. Almost ten million subscriber. So this is a pro boxer. She's moving well. Of course, she's a pro, so... Oh, nice. One, two. She's doing one, two, one, two, three, four. Double jab. Nice combination. Efficient. But she's not doing <coughs> too much hooks or uppercuts, which is weird. 
but she's pretty good. Nice one. She's pretty reactive and uh, yeah, she's defending well. She's not moving, like dodging, she's just blocking. It's a pretty straightforward uh, box, but uh, it's uh, efficient. The next one will be Garden State Mix. What what was that? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, he's moving well. He's pretty he's pretty fast. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh shit. Damn. He's strong. I can tell. I can tell this guy can fight in a street fight. <laughs> This is funny, but he's pretty good. He's pretty good, actually. Uh, yeah, he's fast for his shape, uh, and and uh, yeah, damn man, uh, he's explosive. <laughs> he's funny, this guy. So the next one is toasted loaf. Oh, those are uh, not professionals, but uh, they are pretty good. Nice moves. He's pretty dyna dynamic. He's not um, moving like too far away. He's like pretty reactive. Nice one. Yeah. Those are short punches, but pretty effective. Nice. <laughs> Those punch punches are pretty technical, but not that uh, powerful. And it's fast. But it's short. It's not a very good amplitude, but in fight, uh, close fight is uh, pretty good. Oh, this is his style, I think, so that's why. But you can tell he, he's reacting uh, very well. He's slipping and dodging and waving and bobbing. <laughs> he's fainting. He's showing off a little bit, but that's pretty good. Yeah, he has a pretty good fast hands too, so that's good. So this guy, RM videos. This is a grandpa. <laughs> For his age, is is moving well. I can tell. I can tell he he got uh, in fight when when he was young. Oh my God, he's good. Look at that. He's pretty good. One, two. <laughs> nice. He's sleeping, moving around. Uh, he's moving very well. That's pretty good. I like it. And the next one is the walk on coach. He doesn't look like a, a boxing coach. <laughs> He's pretty dynamic, but uh, he has a range of motion, which is pretty weird for boxing. So I don't think he has a lot of experience with boxing. But he looks in shape. Yeah, he's like guarding like a turtle. 
But he's moving well. Uh, he seems pretty dynamic and muscular. He seems in shape. But he doesn't have good punches, for sure. And he, he can't guard, uh, he can't defend uh, well. But he has some moves, uh, he's uh, a little bit uh, explosive. And he looks uh, tall and, uh, and big. But this is not defense, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. You, you, can, you can touch this guy pretty easy. And he's like throwing his punches like a, in a weird way. So he looks like a beginner. The next one is Joseph Foreman. With uh, full work, uh, foot, full footwork. He has a like a karate stance. His footwork is not very precise, <clears throat> and he's pretty flat-footed, which is. Um, hard when you want to react to the opponent punches and the angle of the feet shows that he maybe he has like karate experience but not boxing so much he has like some move some combination which is great And the next one will be my channel. So this is one of my um, last videos, and you can see I have I've got a lot of space now. I will analyze some of my uh, moves here. So here you can see how I I move. One two. Go to the left. I didn't guard this one. One two, three, and I move to the left. I create, I'm creating angle and always guarding, always preparing to, to react. This is outclass champion, so he's too quick and he, just in one punch he can knock you out, so... So always moving, always in reaction. Pivot, did you see the pivot here? One, two, pivot. So you can create angle and you can observe and create distances. And I'm improving a lot by observing what I do. Uh, because when you VR box, you look like crap. Always. <laughs> Even Canelo is looking like crap. Uh, it's normal because you don't have any uh, impact. Uh, you, you just shadow box. So yeah, this is not like uh, a great spectacle, but uh, you can work your reaction, your defense, everything. Your distance. So you see how I move to the left, one, two, uppercut, double jab, one, two, it's, see my footwork is following my, my jab and I'm leaning here so he can't reach me, I'm too far away and I'm guarding like here, I'm avoiding his uh, jab, always moving your head. Yeah, that's what, that was a pretty lazy punch. It was like phony, too phony. It was powerful, but too phony and not that uh, sharp. So you have to be pretty dynamic. When you have a lot of space, you have to rebound, but not like bouncy like this. Just tick, chip, 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 uh, very quick. 
inward, outward. You have to create distance and um, you have to keep your distance when you have a low guard. It was a faint, but yeah, he is too quick for, he is too fast for me. He's like human, uh, unhuman. It's like I'm I'm doing some pretty lazy punches. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Yeah, nice combination, but yeah, not enough. Oh, nice one, but yeah, he's like guarding everything. He's like blocking my punches. Uh, this guy is crazy at this difficulty. You see, did you see what I did here? He's like, I'm going to the the right, hoop, avoiding his uh, jab, and I'm creating angle here. But he's too fast. And yeah, he wants to cross me here, but I'm guarding. So if you l regularly uh, see yourself boxing, you will improve a lot, actually. It's pretty important to review what you do uh, every time you box, if you have time. You see, after the jab here, look at that. I'm leaning my head to the left. With the, the headset, it's, it's a bit difficult, but here, this is a Tyson move. I, I'm like leaning and rotating to, I create an angle here, and this will be a powerful shot. And the next one is, here is an opening, so boom, in the temple. But he's like a, an AI, so I can do anything after that. He's like a Terminator. So when you get tired, um, your box beginning to uh, get ugly and it's normal. So I'm moving around because I know every time he touches me, that's that's too hard to uh, take. Did you see what I did? But I'm pretty tired right now, so I'm moving 45 angle here, and then two with a punch, and I'm preparing for this one. Body punch. And after that, I do a, like a, a tampon punch to go back and go to the distance. But I'm, t I'm too slow. I'm, I'm a navy weight. So yeah, I'm too slow for this kind of move. Uh, and I'm not in shape anymore. So uh, yeah, I'm old. <laughs> but I'm trying things to create angle. And he's dominating uh, the space, so yeah, it's pretty tiring for me. Yeah, this is a lazy punch, I'm like, uh -huh, because I'm tired. I'm trying uppercuts, but that's a nonsense in this game. So short punches, you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
switch stands. He's too qu he's too fast for me. Like this is not human. Um, this is not human. <laughs> I'm crying out uh, out loud. <laughs> Trying to to create angle and moving fast, but. I try to create angle, but yeah, he's too fast, too strong. I don't do any damage to him, so he's not afraid. It was a lazy, uh, lazy uppercut. When you get tired, uh, you're like, oh shit, <laughs> look at that. I'm trying to st change stance, but yeah, I'm like rushing and uh, it's not a good start strategy for, for this guy. Always moving. And when you um, inverse grip, it's uh, it's better to defend. Uh, it's easier. So you can knock your you can't knock your uh, headset with your controller. I'm spamming. <laughs> yeah, I tr I tried something new here, like here and uppercut. Oh, I did touch him. So yeah, that's it guys. I'm trying some power punch here. One, two, three. Overhand. I'm changing levels and uh, yeah, I'm I'm creating angle as I can, but like not easy always moving my head always moving around uh, I'm getting knocked out
like it was a gazelle punch and this punch has not been tracked so I'm like oh shit <laughs> so I'm switching stance and here I'm like gazelle punching this is the gazelle punch fr from Mac Tyson but look at this hand here boom like a short body blow and yeah <laughs> can't do anything yeah <laughs> I like to do that. <laughs> so thank you guys again for your support. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe I'll do uh, another one in uh, one year from now. So please keep boxing, keep enjoying the fight and see you later.